Hey, it's me. I've been thinking about you lately. I miss you. Call me back. Hi, Boo. It's JJ, and this is Today with JJ. As you can see by the title of the video, this is Travel Tuesday numero dos. And we are going to visit the beautiful, the magical Montego Bay, Jamaica, also known as Mo Bay. Montego Bay, the capital of St. James Parish on Jamaica's north coast, is a major cruise ship port with numerous beaches, resorts, and golf courses outside its commercial core. Popular beaches include Doctors Cave Beach and Walter Fletcher Beach, home to an amusement park, which we will get into a little later in the video. There's also snorkeling and diving at coral reefs in the protected waters of Montego Bay Marine Park. Montego Bay is the island's tourist capital. So there's so much to do. So let's jump right in to the 10 best amazing things that you can do while visiting Montego Bay, Jamaica. Number one on the list is the also Instagrammable Martha Bray River Rafting. Rafting the Martha Bray River is one of the most peaceful and romantic things to do in Montego Bay. It's also a relaxing way to soak up the lush scenery of Jamaica's countryside. The trip involves drifting down Jungle Fringe River on bamboo rafts pulled by local guides. Along the way, you can learn about the local flora and Jamaica's history. Some guides also will serenade you with reggae songs. It's a good idea to bring your swimsuit in case you want to take a dip before or during your rafting adventure. Number two on the list is a must try once in a lifetime experience. It's the Chuck a Horseback Ride and Swim. Saddle up for your adventure to begin with a spectacular horseback ride through Jamaica's back country. You will pass farmland, explore the ruins of an 18th century sugar plantation, and hear the tales of Jamaica's colorful history. Then experience an unparalleled, exhilarating bareback ride into the warmth of the Caribbean Sea atop your swimming horse. No experience needed as well-trained horses and attentive guides will ensure your comfort and safety during the best horseback riding experience in Jamaica. Next on the list is one of the most popular beaches in all of Jamaica. Luckily, it's in Montego Bay. Dr. Cave's Beach Club is a lot more than just the Great Beach. It was here that the curative nature of the waters was often recommended for those who needed that little bit of tropical sun, sea, and sand. Dr. Cave's Beach is located in the middle of Montego Bay's hip strip which is Gloucester Avenue. Hopefully I said that right. <laughs> Although many other beaches have some of the qualities of Dr. Cave's Beach, none have all of them. The warm Caribbean waters, the immaculately kept grounds and clean sanitary facilities have made Dr.'s Cave Beach a great choice for visitors. The sand restaurant and bar provide a great variety of meals and drinks. The beach is also a part of Montego Bay Marine Park, which has a wide variety of marine life among the coral reef. Next on the list is the hip strip, Gloucester Avenue. Hopefully I'm saying that name right. <laughs> Buzzing with activity and music day and night, the hip strip is the beating heart of Montego Bay. This stretch of Gloucester Avenue between Aquasol Theme Park and the airport is the epicenter of tourism, entertainment, 
where the town's most popular shops, nightclubs, restaurants, bars, and beach hangouts pulsate with fun-seeking travelers. The most popular bars, clubs, and restaurants are located on the Hip Strip in Montego Bay, which are frequented by locals as well as international travelers. These are some places that I would highly recommend for you to visit. These have the best ratings, and also you can get some nightlife in as well. Next on the list is the most magical experience like no other in Montego Bay. The Luminous Lagoon is a natural phenomenon with harmless microorganisms that emit blue looking light when touched. The lagoon at night is a rare phenomenon that occurs only in four places worldwide. The Luminous Lagoon in Jamaica is said to be the largest and the brightest of the four. The fresh waters of the Martha Bear River mixing with the salty Caribbean Sea fills the bay with blackish water, creating the perfect environment for these tiny creatures to thrive. Make sure to take a dip and watch the water glow around you. It's also a party with the intriguing story of these colorful waters while enjoying a glass of rum punch. The lagoon is located just outside the historic town of Falmouth, Jamaica, which is about 30 minutes from Montego Bay. To really have the best experience, you must book a tour. There are several tours running from most of the hotels in Montego Bay. Subaquatic and Glistening Waters Luminous Lagoon Tours are two of the highly rated tours for this experience. Number six on the list. Now, we cannot talk about Jamaica without talking about Jamaican food. Jamaican food is some of the best in the Caribbean, with rich history of both immigrants and colonizers from England, Spain, Africa, India, and China. The food is very diverse. Montego Bay is the second largest city in Jamaica. There are plenty of international and local food options, but we are not going to Jamaica to eat sushi. It would be wrong to go to Mobe without heading to Scotty's, recommended by everyone. This casual roadside eatery is the place in town to eat Jamaica's most fame dish. The hip strip is blocks of options with everything that is so convenient you'll find some of Montego Bay's best restaurants here, including the Jamaican food favorite, the Pelican Grill, and the comforting dishes from Usain Bolt's Track and Records restaurant. And also you cannot forget the pork pit that can surely meet all your jerk desires. I cannot not forget about the home of one of my favorite things to eat, the Jamaican beef patty. You have to have a Jamaican beef patty in Jamaica. Come on, that's a no-brainer. Atop of mountains and tucked in the foothills of the Cutadupa Mountains, Croydon Plantation is a 132-acre working farm with magnificent views of the surrounding countryside. The plantation's main crops are coffee, pineapple, plantains, and citrus. And they also produce honey. During the tour, you can learn about the different crops, sample the produce, and sip drinks made from the plantation's fresh fruit as you stroll around the beautiful grounds. After your tour, enjoy a barbecue lunch topped off with the famous Jamaica Blue Mountain Coffee. Get a bird's eye view of Jamaica as you glide through the dense canopies of some of the island's most tropical forests on the longest zipline course in the Caribbean. You'll be guided by friendly, experienced staff whose first priority is your safety and enjoyment. Along the tour, you'll spot indigenous flora and fauna, all while gaining an idea of what most of the country looked like before European colonists arrived. Dead End Beach, also known as Buccaneer Beach, is a beautiful beach accessible to locals and visitors to Montego Bay. It's the perfect place to go for an authentic Jamaican beach experience. 
Visitors can also try the delicious local cuisine at the restaurants and bars that dot the shore. One of the best parts of the beach is that it is near Donald Sangster International Airport, which means it is easily accessible to those who are there for a short time and those who are there to get some thrilling views of the low-flying aircrafts as they bathe in the refreshing water. If you're looking for some major fun in the sun while in Montego Bay, head straight over to Aquasol Theme Park. The beachside park is filled with activities that you can take part in, including snorkeling on the nearby reefs, taking scuba diving lessons, going on guided dives, and enjoying pedal boat or glass bottom boat rides. The theme park also has water trampolines, jet skis, banana boat rides, kayaks, and wave runners. I can keep going, but there's so much more. In addition to all the fun water activities, the theme park also has a go-kart racing track. It also organizes beach volleyball, table tennis, and other games for visitors to enjoy. Sobu, that is the ultimate Montego Bay, Jamaica travel guide. There's some things that were on the beaten path and uh, some things that were off the beaten path. I know there are a lot of other things that you can do, like take day trips to Ocho Rios and Nigel, but I'm actually making separate videos for those places because they have so much to offer, it wouldn't be fair to combine them all together with Montego Bay. This place is absolutely gorgeous. There's so much to do, especially since it is Jamaica's top tourist spot. So don't be weary of that. There are times where you will have downtime and it's not so crowded in some places. Here are a few things to keep in mind. The best time to visit Jamaica is November to mid-December. That's when the island's already beautiful weather rangings from 70s to the high 80s is the most pleasant and the hotel and flight deals are the easiest to find. Rates are also inexpensive during the summer, but you have to consider the hurricane season. January to March is peak season to travel the island. Is it safe? to travel to Montego Bay. Keep in mind that parts of Jamaica are safer than others. Great thing about Montego Bay is that it's Jamaica's tourist hotspot. So it is a lot safer than other parts of Jamaica. However, you must always exercise caution when moving around, especially at night. How to get around in Jamaica. The best way to get around in Jamaica whether you're coming from one of the airports or going to your resort, hotel, or Airbnb, is to get around by taxi. You can also rent a car, but keep in mind that you do have to drive on the left-hand side of the road. So there you have it. It's my full ultimate guide to Montego Bay, Jamaica. It is on my adventure list and I cannot wait to get there. If you've been to Montego Bay and I left anything out, please, I would really appreciate it if you comment it down below. I can add that to my list and anyone else who's watching can also get that experience as well. Thank you so much for coming by the channel. If this has helped you, please go ahead and smash that like button. This lets me know that these Travel Tuesday videos are very helpful and I can continue making them. So until the next video, stay blessed. Thank you. And until next time.